<laughs> Hello again. Welcome to another one of my special festive readings from Ladybird and Puffin at Hamley's. <laughs> this time, I thought I'd read you some of the Christmas tale of Peter Rabbit by Emma Thompson, inspired by the stories of Beatrix Potter. Now, rabbits are always very uppity during the Christmas season, and Peter Rabbit is no exception. <laughs> it's almost Christmas, and Peter cannot contain his excitement. <laughs> now, I wonder what will happen to Peter. After upsetting a third bowl of mincemeat onto the sandy floor, he was sent to his aunt's to fetch a cup of suet. And you see, there's Peter being handed the cup to fetch the suet. And look, on the floor, there's that third bowl of mincemeat spilt all over the floor. <laughs> Poor Peter. On his way, Peter bumped into his cousin, Benjamin Bunny. He was looking equally gloomy. His mother had sent him to Mrs. Rabbit's for a handful of raisins. And you see, there's Benjamin there in the brown, meeting Peter in the woods. Oh dear, both little rabbits. They both managed to upset their mothers. Let's stay out of the way for a bit, suggested Peter. Good idea, said Benjamin. So the cousins set about playing rabbit cricket with holly berries and fir cones when William sauntered by. William was a turkey. <laughs> he was a puffed up person, full of his own importance. Nothing made him happier than his bold, brave fan of tail feathers, which rattled upon the cobbles as he strutted about. <laughs> Christmas is a fine time, a fine time, he gobbled at Peter and Benjamin. <laughs> I am not sent to fetch suet or raisins. Mrs. McGregor brings me such treats every day. Nothing is too good. I am their honoured guest. <laughs> and here, William lowered his voice and said in an important whisper, for they say that on Christmas Day, they are to have me for dinner. <laughs> Quite quickly, Peter and Benjamin were struck by the same horrible thought. Goodness me, I wonder what happens next. If you'd like to find out, remember, you have a chance to win this Hamley's Bear, and your own copy of all the books I'm reading for Ladybird and Puffin this Christmas by subscribing to Ladybird Books YouTube channel and leaving a comment down below. Goodbye for now. See you soon. <laughs> ho, ho, ho!